Hey everybody, Arco here, back bringing you some more Cardscape Gaming. Got another five player game this time around. And this is game number 36, if I remember correctly. We are going into this one at just over 18,600 FFA points. Ooh, interesting. We get to see where everybody goes before we go. It'll take Japan here. The neutral bot took Yakutsk. And is going in front of us. That's great. Nobody's pivoted to Africa yet, though. I doubt Red will let us hold either way. That's actually quite the uh, strong Europe portal here in the center. But anyway, before we continue describing that, these are the settings that have still remained the same for the series. And these are the players with ourselves being in the last position and a neutral bot being in the second position due to a player not readying up. But yeah, with the uh, blizzard there in Greenland, the pink player can now cap on this portal here. I believe this is Northern Europe. Yeah, Northern Europe. And they could have a good threat stack guard on their on their bonus there while being able to portal hop around the board. Also only two points of entry due to Southern Europe Blizzard. So Red's B, Red got South America, White got Australia, and Red so far, there's no real troop contest for Africa, so Red could pivot to a North Africa cap here, clear all that out behind him. Maybe not the best idea though, since the neutral bot does go before them, and they will add at least a troop each to both of those territories so that could be a little bit risky now that i'm thinking about it a little bit more but overall fairly standard stuff we'll see where the neutral bot decides to cap will be an important factor. <laughs> see if they screw anybody over. Mainly orange is the only one they can royally screw over. Here come the caps. Ooh, they cap behind the red in Africa. Red goes in Peru though. Like going Indonesia, pink going Iceland, not going that amazing Northern Europe cap. We see a Quebec cap from Orange. All right. <laughs> Got another lobby of strange cap placements. We will see how that affects people's early choices. bot does add one to the cap. It's only a five though. We'll see if red does decide to go for it. But 
Pink is now claiming their Europe bonus. Leaves a two in your all for whatever reason. But does fortify Ukraine. Red getting eight on the start of their first turn due to owning South America and going fourth. Here we see the 17 on five. Only losing one troop. All right. And judging by Red's cap position, they're not going to guard the cap. They are not. They guard North Africa instead. So if purple... Or sorry, if pink holds Europe and they get a good roll on the 11, they could steal that. Only losing one on a six. Is this true random? It is. All right, there we go. We just got... <laughs> There's the confirmation. <laughs> it's true random. <laughs> uh, good old 8v2 loss. So we get a nice safe start for our first turn. White does break red Africa there, but only hits the one, doesn't do anything to the stack. But now we have a little bit of a neutral bot buffer in between us here. Pink does not do anything to Red's 11 either. They just continue to guard their borders. And they also don't break orange. Is Red going to try and fully guard both here? Oh, it does fortify off the cap. Does Orange try and go for it, or do they continue to play nice? They do matching guards, so they're not looking to fight. Just gonna take a card off of my one here. Just kind of a risky move if I wasn't uh, purely card skipping here. White breaks red again, losing nothing on the four. Where are they going to try and fortify? Depending on the aggression of the red player, it might be dangerous leaving that stack there in Egypt. White's turn runs out.
Pick still guards up their bonus here. Do we see a 21 on 13? No, we see a card skip. Heck yeah. Goes our last non cap troop. There's a two is left in <laughs> Kamchatka. Neutral bot stacks do get hit. But Overall, this has been a slow opening. Pink gonna trust a three on one, does succeed. Still guarding all their borders strong. Leaves a 10. And Egypt and fortifies four more on there. Okay. Orange is a fan of leaving small troop stacks everywhere. That is a nice strategy in true random. If people do blitz the armies. They have a higher chance of losing large amounts of troops compared to, to balanced blitz at least. Just as we saw, I believe it was Orange losing the 8 on 2 earlier this game. So white does not break red. We'll see if Pick decides to or not. Pardon me. Sadly, with the way Red is currently defending. It will eventually be worth it to break through North Africa and take both caps. Even with the way Pink's defending their cap right now, if one of them portal hops to the 11, it takes that cap, but that'd be later down the road and assumes that everybody will continue to guard their caps weak. The 
but red does hold Africa, it gets 12. Does card skip again? As white is now helping out with the card block, their stack being kept in Middle East. Orange is slowly creeping up to 12 territories here. And we give themselves an extra bonus troop return. If orange goes a bit too far with the trying to hold 12 territories there, people will start to run out of areas to take cards safely. Oh, is pink going to do the same? <laughs> so there are currently no more ones to hit. with the trade up now. Their safest card is a four. as they now appear to slowly be upgrading to 10s. And they too will card skip. <laughs> Once again, this is in theory, bad for me long term if everybody continues to be nice with one another. But as always, we will see how long the piece is kept for. White with the trade on three. Sure, they'd be content to Oh, not they do hit orange's stack there. Neutral bot and I also doing our job to card block people, I guess. <laughs> Since this seems to be the the focus now.
tank using up a lot of their clock here. And they may be the first possible bot out here. Currently offline. If they don't reconnect within the next 10 minutes or so, they will be officially labeled as MIA. I feel like I've gone through that speech a lot. <laughs> but, if Pink does go fully MIA, their large stacks in Europe could help act red as a two-point guard, weirdly enough. Until people have enough troops to blast through there. <laughs> Orange does indeed look to be making all those territories tens. I like it. Another, another neutral bot turned for pink. Orange continuing to leave small stacks for white to hit. Ooh, it didn't work that time. Orange does match white 17 through the portal there from Western US and India. Oh, they break Australia. <laughs> it 
do they leave the five in Australia? They leave. <laughs> they leave a two. Oh man. Do love Orange's commitment to the Legos. Throw it a lot of uh, random games. When people like Orange leave small stacks everywhere, people like to refer to them as leaving out Legos everywhere. Because they, the act of the large army losing everything to a two or something small would be the act of stepping on the Legos. Landmines is another one. <laughs> Heard them both called that too. So White takes their bonus back, gets a good roll to break orange in North America. And they leave a nice little three for them. Another neutral bot turn for pink. Red continuing to card skip, and it's understandable with uh, them being satisfied with their 12 troops a turn. Especially now with. Uh, pink currently offline, and white and orange fighting amongst themselves. Do we see the Australia break again? Is orange leaves behind a two? Ooh, do not. They fortify everything to the portal. Tension increases. There we go. There's the. Oh, there's the bonus break again. 26 on 23. Another good roll. You see there, pink has officially gone MIA. They now officially take last place and no longer gain troops on their turn. So now Europe is a, <laughs> a cluster of troops now. So this is, at least for the time being, until the super late game, there's going to be uh, essentially one giant blizzard acted in there. And red pouncing on weakening orange. as they do seem to be now working with the help of white. Orange does need to be careful and guard up their cap here. Gotta bring one of those 10 stacks back. Leave Kamchatka too, though, eh? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I like it. Oh. 
So if red has a trade on four here, they do not. Do they still go for the cap? It is an 18. 63 v 18. If they're only going to attack with some, that may be a mistake. Okay, they don't attack the cap. <laughs> but they do. <laughs> but they do keep a 32 there. For whatever reason. Orange also doesn't appear to have a trade on the four. Still committing to the split armies. I like it. <clears throat> Pardon me. White using up a lot of their cluck. <clears throat> Are they gonna be botting out? Well, they are still here. Didn't get the turn off that time. Okay, we do see are gonna be seeing a trade coming in for red. Six trade with the plus two though. They hit the neutral bot, even though it's completely pointless to. That now opens up avenues of attack for white or orange through that portal. If they so choose. Orange can now hit, go through the... Ooh, they have a 4 trade, though. Not great. I think Red's just seeing that 10 cap and, and uh, it's tunneling a little bit. We do see a neutral bot turn from white. So we'll see if they reconnect within the next 10 minutes or so. Under the assumption that white is not coming back to the game, red has enough of an advantage over orange. Especially if they win this cap hit here, which they do not. <laughs> Old true random. <laughs> yeah, 
orange is kind of forced to turtle up with me here. <laughs> Since he is no real easy card. So I guess we now both get to watch red slowly expand. Fourteen on three, and red does claim another cap for themselves. Red with the trade, adding all to Central America. And does just go for a card. So they are now just looking to trade with Orange. Orange is going to leave everything at minimum a two. Oh, orange leaves the game. So if white stays botted out here, then I guess the winner will be red. Very sudden uh, quit there from Orange. And Red is <laughs> going to slowly take the board. One extremely slow manual roll at a time. <laughs> yeah, knocking a few troops off the cap there. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Red has started to say, screw slow rolling. You're gonna start to blitz some stuff. <laughs> We are going to go back to slow roll in a bit. Getting some good rolls here. There's the average starting to kick in. <laughs> And there's the official MIA for white. Another player taken down in the what appears to be the neutral bought out Olympics. <laughs> Still slowly working on the cat here. <laughs> that was weird. Did I just place my troops twice? Am I seeing things? <laughs> I didn't actually gain 10 troops, so it just reset the 5, I think. Man. Red going for the official elimination on orange. Forty five minutes in. Now go on for the Australia break now. <laughs> I 
Because I guess they're going to start working on that position. Going to more slow rolling. Much there. Red does blitz and loses a bunch of troops there. <laughs> But they are going to work on us now. So they're going to go for all the caps. Do you take Australia? Hey, we got the manual roll treatment too. Don't you worry. This is unfortunately a time loss on the unofficial speedrun. <laughs> From a timing point of view, I guess we do want them to get good manual rolls on us. <laughs> If they do insist on manual rolling. Thank you. 
at this pace, it looks like we will be getting a silver medal in the Bot Out Olympics. This is how this game has turned out to be. <laughs> Our KD looking. Hey, positive. <laughs> Defending overall well, but not the best. <laughs> Another minute of manual mode. Does bring us down to 90. Oh, there's the Blitz, and I think they barely won that. Alrighty. GG's to our opponents. We got a gold split on the 5th to 4th due to that ending. Nice to see. Anyway, 400 battle points. GG's again to all our opponents. They were two beginners and two intermediates. Going into this game, we were at 2,600 points. We are now 18,838 points, all without taking a card. Till next time, everybody. Take care and cheers for stopping by.